Hi everyone, this is Robin the Sudoku Guy with newsletter number 8 and on this particular session I've got a scenario. It's not a real puzzle but it's a scenario where we cover all kinds of little techniques. It's in a way it's a form of revision. So let's see what we can do here. First of all, we're looking at um, vertical blocks and I'm just going to work on this little section and we're going to go from 1 to 9 and see what we come up with. One, we have a center, we have a left, it has to be there or there on the right, so we can put the little ones in. Two, two can go all over the place here, I leave it. Three, there's only one three, it can go on a lot of places, let's leave it. Four, well it can go to a lot of few, a lot of places as well. But I can tell you right now, using the technique called the cross technique, where we look at horizontal and vertical uh, lines of numbers. Um, if I take this four and go up, and I take this four and come this way, that eliminates all these cells, so that has to be a four. If that's a four, then this becomes a one. So we're off. If that's a four, we know that in here we have a two small fours. Fives. Fives are already there, left, right and center. Sixes. Well, this is interesting. When I look at uh, the second column, there's two ways of looking at this. Whichever way uh, you pick up or notice, by all means use it. As I mentioned before, there are many ways to cook an egg. If I look at um, number f the column number four, you can't put a s column number two rather, this column here, you can't put a six there because of the six. You can't put a six in here because this six means that all the other cells in this block cannot be a six. So if you can't put a six there and you can't put a six there, the only place a six can go is there. Now there's another way of looking at uh, this, um, another way of cooking the egg as it were. We'll take the, the six and we'll go th through the technique of the cross. Okay, here we come across here and then uh, take, and take this one and go up this way and we find that this is the only place a six can go once we've put the one there. Now if we'd have done it before um, we did the four and the one, we could have gone the cross as well and still come up with the same answer. So, here we go. This becomes a small six and that becomes a small six. So we now have a left and we have a right. The, the six in column two must go there. So there's two ways of coming up with that answer. If you'd have seen the six uh, cross technique right at the very beginning, you would have come up with the same answer. Six is the only place, this is the only place that six can go in column two. Now let's go to sevens. They are all there. Seven, seven, seven. Eight. Now here we go again with the option of putting the little eight in only two cells of a block. Now when we get to the advanced level and much more difficult puzzles, there will be times when you will put it in more places, but for the time being, limit it to two cells because it really helps in solving quickly. So if I look at this 8 and I come down this column, in this block here, the only two places an 8 can go is there or there. So we'll put two small 8s in, there and there. Now, let's look at this. If an 8 can go there, there, it could go there. But Let's see what else we can do. Let's go to nines now. If I look at nines, this is interesting because here we have a nine. That eliminates a nine there, there and there. And if therefore, if this, these two cells can't have a nine, the only place a nine can go in this block is there. So we'll put that in. Now because the nine can only go in the left there, and on the right up here, it has to be in the center here, and that makes up a matching pair. Whoops. Now, if you had a, um, 
some other numbers over on this side here that would help you perhaps even solve this one. Now let's look at um, what's left. We have, a, we have a block here with only two cells left. If we can work out what's in there, we can work out what's going to be there. So what's left in this block is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 3 and an 8 matching pair because there's only two cells left. It's a matching pair. Now, we know through the rule of uh, exclusion as well as the fact that this is a perfect example of when you've got a column like this and you've got 8 going to be there for sure, you can get rid of this 8. Eliminate it. Now, we have a situation on this column where we have a matching player plus 1. So let's work it out. We'll go through the, the, the list. 1, 2 is missing. 2 is missing. We can't have a 2 there. We know we can't have a 2 there or there because it's a 4-9 matching pair. So this is where the 2 has to go. Now you could have worked it out this way. Having got a 4-9-4-9, four, nine, four, nine, you could have said, well, okay, let's go through the count, 1, 2, and you come up with the 2 again. So there's two ways of finding that. And you will find sometimes when you're watching me do a puzzle, you see another way in which you can get a number. Sometimes I'll miss something, you can see it before I do, and that's great. Now we've got the 2 in here, left, right, this has to be a 2. Now what does that do? That means that there has to be here what's left over. It's a 3-6. That's the only ones left. Now, let's double check that. We have a 6, 6, 6 has to be there. 3, 3, 3, they have to be there. So that's just a few little techniques. But now that we've got um, this 4949, nine, we could have worked out the other number this number very easily. If you've got, um, there's two ways of doing this, now I'm looking at this, the 8, and there's an 8 up there, so the 8 has to be over here. That's using the left uh, LCR system, but we could have gone 4949 plus 2 to find out what these were. And so there's, there's another, another situation where you can have more than one way to cook an egg. So we'll put our 8 in here, and now we've solved all those numbers just in those uh, vertical blocks just because we use several techniques and we're trying to point out as well there are different ways in which you can solve it. So that's it for today's session. I hope you enjoy, enjoy the history of Sudoku. Bye for now. See you next time.